Hello, so in this video, we're going to learn how to configure a VLAN tracking protocol or VTP. So VTP is a Cisco proprietary protocol that actually is used to um, easen or make the work easier in regards to VLAN's configuration. So let's assume that we have 100 VLANs in our network. So you know VLANs are being configured on a, um, on a switch, a Cisco switch, okay? So if you have 100 VLANs in your network, plus you are having 200 switches on your network, that basically means that you will move from switch to switch, configuring those 100 VLANs. So with VTP, we can just uh, easen that work. We just do VLANs on one switch. Then that configuration will be replicated or copied automatically to all other switches using a VTP protocol. So here's the VTP protocol. So it makes it possible. It's, it makes it possible to make configuration changes on one or more switches and have those changes automatically advertised to all other switches in the same VTP domain. It is Cisco proprietary. It automatically copies VLANs from one switch to another, okay? So to configure a VTP, there are a lot of things that you need to configure. So, and to consider, I mean, okay? So one of the things that we need to consider, here it is, a, a switch has to be configured as either VTP server or VTP client. So the VTP server is the master, is the one in charge of the VLAN's configuration. But the VTP client is the one that now receives the copy from the server, okay? Then the VTP domain has to be the same in all the switches. Then as well, we need to configure VTP password, VTP uh, versions, okay? Then you know switch to switch is always trunk, okay? All right, so without any further ado, uh, let's do VTP, VTP configuration uh, using GNS3. So I'm just gonna start uh, these devices, so. Okay, so I want to make this one to be our VPT, uh, VTP sub, okay? But the remaining three to be the VPT, VTP clients, okay? All right, so how do you do that? Pretty much simple. We've been, highly, we've been advised here that a switch can either be VTP server or VTP client. Okay, then we have to configure domain name. We have to configure um, a password if present, okay? As well as a version, okay? All right, so pretty much simple. Let's assume, let's start, let's start with this switch here, okay? And then config T. Uh, let me just give it a host name, uh, VTP uh, server, okay, perfect, all right, okay, so what are we going to do? Um, we are, by default, Cisco switches are VTP servers, you are able to configure um, VLANs, okay, so we have to confirm that this is a VTP server, but for this remaining one, we have to uh, configure them as VTP client. So what I'm gonna do, uh, let me just go here and say, uh, VTP mode to be server, okay? So you see, the device is already uh, VTP server, okay? By default, okay? So then, pretty much simple. We need to configure a VTP domain. Okay, so just say VTP domain to be uh, dot com. Okay, okay, I can see my um, my interface actually is hanging. So what I'm gonna do is just to turn uh, to power off the the computers here. This one, this one, this one. Yeah, so you see the VTP domain name changed from null to gtest.com. Okay, then very important 
very importantly, we need to configure a VTP password, okay? So that uh, not every switch uh, uh, forms the VTP environment with our in, in in this in this in this network, okay? All right. So I'm just gonna say VTP password to be Cisco. Okay, that's okay. Then I just hit enter. Okay, and then finally VTP VTP version version. Let me query. We can set version one to version two. Okay. So let me just say if the question two is okay, okay? All right, so do right, okay? So do show VTP status. Yep, so you see this is version two, uh, the domain name is this one, okay? All right, so, okay, another thing, another thing, let me see. The operating mode is server, okay? So this is our VTP server, perfect. All right, so this is now our VTP server. Now let's go to all the switches and do um, uh, VTP client configuration. So in that regard, I've just uh, highlighted those commands here. So as you can see, uh, the VTP domain should be the same. So I'll just check the VTP domain here. It's gtech, gtech.com. So it's not good to take gtech.com. So version two, VTP password is Cisco. I believe it was Cisco. Let me just confirm. Yes, if they are not the same, then it will not form an, uh, actually uh, a mutual agreement between them, okay? VTP domain is that one. Mod is now client. This is the server. The remaining one, clients, okay? All right, so the mod is client, that's okay. VTP version two, that's perfect. And password, Cisco. So the only thing that is different here is the VPC, is the client, is the mode. The first one, the server, then the rest to be client, but all the configuration to be the same, okay? So I'm just gonna copy that. I'm just going to copy that and go to every switch and paste that, okay? All right, so, I think it's quite much easier. Okay, so guys, I've done the VTP configuration in all these switches, okay? So you can just go to any switch, uh, for, for example, this one, and say show VTP status, okay? Then you will see this now a client and the domain name version 2, okay? And the password remains the same. So what I'm gonna do, remember the VTP is used for uh, VLAN's uh, replications. Okay, so I'm just going to go here on the server, on the VTP server and configure how many VLANs, four VLANs. And then we will monitor if they are being copied automatically to all other switches. So I'm just gonna say, perfect. So guys, I've configured how many villains? Four villains. So if I can just say, uh, exit, do show villain. So you can see I've, co I've configured how many villains here? Four villains on the VTP server switch, okay? Okay, so basically what's now remaining to propagate or copy those villains to all other switches is to enable these interfaces to be trunks. Remember, uh, the last the last requirement was to was to enable trunk between this uh, interfaces connecting switch to switch. Okay, all right. So I'm just gonna do that very very fast. First, I'll just monitor this interface. This is at zero zero, as well. This is at no. This is um, at zero one, and this is at zero two. Okay, all right. So at zero uh, one and two are going to be trunk, and as well this one, this one. And this one so i'll demo with this one but for the remaining one i'll do them very very fast to save time okay so let's start with this one and say interface range at uh zero uh zero slash zero at zero slash zero uh switch box mode trunk uh okay okay for, for, for pocket tracer, we must uh, specify this command for switchport. Uh, trunk. 
encapsulation dot one key okay perfect then we say switch port mode try okay all right so perfect just hit enter good exit and do right Let's go to each each VTP client switch and confirm whether the villains have been configured there or replicated there successfully. Guys, I believe this video has really helped me you now to uh, copy villains from one switch to another using VTP protocol. Okay, thank you so much, and let's see again in the next video where we're going to handle. Um, uh, the trunk allowed or denied villain. So I'll mark VTP as done. Okay. So in the next lab, we're going to do this. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. And bye bye.